Hello, this is Tim, SamY7, and I'm going to continue with my first edition AD&D Monster Manual review, where I basically go through all the different monsters. Um, the next is the Nightmare, which is basically a six hit dice plus six hit point uh, creature. The demons, devils, uh, liches, night hags, all kinds of evil things ride. Um, this thing has fangs, uh, hooves are on fire, has jet black hair. Uh, it can go ethereal, it can fly, um, and, uh, and it has fangs. Those, those fangs are just nasty. Uh, I love going through this book and just looking over the old old drawings in it. I, uh, my friend had an older brother that played the game, and I don't know. I always thought this book was cool. Uh, the next is the Nixie. It is a 1-4 to four hit point creature. Um, they're basically water sprites of lakes and rivers. Um, yeah, fish guard them. They enslave humans with charm spells. Um, and they take you away for about a year, which is kind of rough. Uh, and then they set the captives free. Uh, they, they basically catch uh, water breathing on their captives so that they can live underneath the water. Next is the Nymph. Uh, three hit dice. Beautiful woman. Uh, can do Dimension Door and Druid spells. Um, looking at them causes blindness if they're nude, or sometimes you have to save or die. <laughs> I guess the beauty is just uh, too rough to behold. Um, the, the, <laughs> the phrase, death of a broken heart, uh, pretty much comes to mind. Um, they can be favorable at times, especially if you have a, a high enough charisma. Um, ochre Jelly, which is six hit dice, which is basically a giant amoeba. Uh, eats flesh, travels through cracks in the walls, underneath doors. Um, can travel up walls and ceilings. It dissolves flesh. It does 3 to 12 hit points around. Um, lightning Bolt divides them, which I thought was interesting. So you could actually make more of these things, which would not be fun. Uh, and those are basically smaller versions of the creature. Um, there's octopus, ogres. I don't know, we all know what ogres are. They're just big guys. Um, the ogre mages, which they list as the Japanese ogre, which I thought was an interesting twist. Um, has five plus two uh, hit dice, um, and of course they have magic and spells and all that. Uh, orc, I like the picture of the orcs in here. Uh, they, uh, it's interesting that they look more like pigs, uh, like violent pigs. You know, pigs in dungeon or <laughs> something. I don't know. That was bad. <laughs> um, it, it's interesting that they bring more of the Tolkien esque. Uh, they fight amongst themselves. Um, it basically says that seventy five percent. Chance that they fight each other unless there's a strong, you know, uh, tyrannical ruler that's basically keeping them together and making them do what he wants. Um, the orc tribes that are listed were interesting: the vile rune, the bloody head, death moon, broken bane, evil eye, the leprous hand, rotting eye, and the dripping blade. You gotta like orcs for coming up with some nice uh, flavor text for their <laughs> different groupings. Um, there's lots of giant animals in here. I don't know. After a while, they just get silly, like the giant otter. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know if I'd really be scared of the giant otter, but whatever. It's in there. The uh, OTU. We I went over the Neo OTU before. It's O T U G. Wait. O T Y U G H. Has six to eight hit dice. Um, it's basically just an. They just eat anything, and they're scavengers. Um, they, sit, they form symbiotic relationships with other monsters, and they basically just clean up the leftovers. Basically, anything the other monster doesn't like to eat. So these are creatures that you can throw in with an encounter on something else that's more powerful that you know, might have might have a great appetite. Um, they have a sensory stalk uh, and two tentacle arms with sharp edges, uh, and they have a diseased mouth. Uh, you basically never want a diseased mouth to uh, get anywhere near your person. <laughs> Uh, and they're semi telepathic, so they can they can uh, talk with the other creatures that are around. Okay, uh, we're back. Uh, giant owl is next, followed by the owl bear, which is an unfortunate breeding between an owl and a bear. <laughs> uh, I think some wizard out there is kind of perverted. Uh, they have five plus two hit dice. Uh, next is Pegasus, flying horses, yeah, yeah, yada yada. Uh, they have four hit dice. Uh, the next is the Peritons, which is interesting because it has a kind of bizarre picture that doesn't always, it isn't always described very well in the actual crunchy details in the description. Um, they have horns, antlers, um, 
three claws. They're, they're a bird. And they like to rip out the heart of victims because they need that to breed, which is an interesting sort of life cycle. Uh, weapon, normal weapons don't harm them. Um, yeah, and they have like dark green and uh, like blue-black feathers. So they're kind of interesting. Uh, the piercer is next, which is basically a stalactite with a bad attitude. Uh, they fall down, stick into you, and they eat you from the inside out. Uh, giant pike, because there's big giant fish. <laughs> uh, pixie, which is uh, a little tiny like sprite that can go invisible. They have sleep arrows, memory loss arrows. Um, you need exorcism to fix that, which I thought was interesting. Polymorph, they have illusions, confusion, other spells. Uh, my favorite is the Auto's Irresistible Dance, as I've recently talked about in my Player's Handbook video. <laughs> I like people dancing to death. Um, they like to bother, harass, and annoy other creatures. Uh, there's a Portuguese Man of War. Um, and the Pseudo Dragon, which is a, kind of a nice little familiar for Blizzards. Uh, two hit dice, they have Bite, Singing Tail, uh, Fast... Uh, they have catalepsy, which I'm not really sure what that is. I should have uh, looked that up on uh, Google or something, but it lasts six days. I, I think that has something to do with sleep. I'm not really sure. Um, oh, that's right. Victim appears to die, uh, and sometimes they do. There's a small percentage chance. They have chameleon powers, um, they have magic resistance, and they give magic resistance to their, their master, their wizard. Uh, and they have semi-telepathy. Purple worm. Which has 15 hit dice. They can sense, but sense vibrations. Uh, they're eight to nine feet in diameter, 40 to 50 feet long. You don't want to mess with one of these guys. Um, they expel metal and mineral mineral crystals in their lair. They engulf victims, um, and that whole spitting out metal thing basically means that yes, they have more treasure in their lair. <laughs> so um, you die after six melee rounds. Though when you're inside, you can cut yourself out, but each round it gets harder and harder. Uh, as you're slowly, I guess, quickly being digested. Um, and they have a save or die stinger on their tail. Quasit, uh, which is three hit dice. They're basically larva uh, from the night hags turned into demons. Uh, they have cleric. Um, they can be used as a familiar by clerics or magic users. Um, I, wasn't for, I wasn't aware that clerics could have uh, familiars, so that was interesting. Um, they, have, they can polymorph into a giant centipede, a bat, a frog, a wolf. They can bite and claw. Um, claws give itching wounds that drain one dex, which are kind of nasty. And that lasts 12, 2 to 12 rounds. They can regenerate, invisibility, fear. These things are nasty. <laughs> uh, magic or cold iron affect them, uh, and they can call on bigger demons to help them out if they're in a bad way. Um, and they... Uh, Oh yeah, they take the soul of their master when their master dies. So you know you might want to read the fine print before you get one of these things. Uh, next is R Rakshasha. I never pronounced that right. Uh, seven hit dice. These are kind of like the spell casting evil tigers. Um, yeah, the illusions, ESP, magic user spells, cleric spells, and like I said, they're just basically tiger humanoids. The uh, Ram Giant, Rat Giant, and Ray are in there. Uh, and then the Remoraz. I always thought these things were even worse than dragons myself. Uh, 7 to 14 hit dice. Uh, they're basically polar worms. They swallow whole, and then you die instantly from the intense flames in their stomach. I always pictured it as being locked inside an oven. Uh, their back is intensely hot, and it will melt you. Um, and they're ice uh, blue and white in color. Next is the Rhinoceros. Eh, I don't think you really need to know what a Rhinoceros is, you know. Go to the zoo. Um, the rock is next. It's basically an 18 hit dice big bird. So it'll probably come down and swallow you whole. <laughs> or claw you to death. Uh, 